Hey everyone, welcome back to Cult Layers. In today's video, we're going to see how you can make the checkout process more direct and simpler for your users using the direct checkout plugin by Cult Layers. Let's get started. So let's first of all do a quick overview of what the direct checkout plugin offers to its users. And the first thing is this one page checkout. So this plugin allows you to include the cart form right in the checkout page, allowing your users to edit the cart right in one page and make the payment there. So the whole process is minimized and sped up for your users. Then you can remove checkout fields. So any fields that you find unnecessary, you can uh, remove them using uh, the direct checkout plugin. Ajax add to cart on single products. As you can see the screen line here, you can immediately check out this uh, single product. Checkout redirection, so you can put any other pages where you want uh, to redirect your users to. Quick purchase button on single products, as you can see, this purchase and purchase now buttons right next to each product and a quick view in shop and product categories so your users are able to quickly preview the product and be able to uh, click on purchase or purchase now so this uh, speeds up the whole process uh, and increases your chances of uh, your users checking out your products and now let's also quickly check out this demo store to see what we can recreate ourselves so this is the store itself here we can see the categories and the single products so if I click on this, you can see that a preview, a quick preview of the product appears. So users can choose the option and immediately click purchase and appear in the checkout page. And if we go to, let's say, accessories and we click on this and we click purchase, you can see that this banner has appeared. Now we can easily go to the checkout page. If we head to the checkout page, you can see all the products that we have chosen, the cart form, and we can immediately edit them here and make the payment and place the order. So this is very easy for your shoppers to quickly check out the products and it increases the chances. So now let's head to the back end uh, and check out how we can actually create this ourselves. So I've already installed and activated the plugin and you can find it by heading to the WooCommerce tab and navigating to direct checkout. Now we are in the general section and we are gonna cover everything one by one. So starting from here, uh, here we can simplify the checkout process by setting alerts for edit to cart. Uh, simply choose yes or no. Uh, then you can customize the edit to cart link in shop. So instead of uh, view cart link, you're going to be able to display checkout immediately. So they immediately head to the checkout page and not first the view cart and then the checkout page. Uh, you can also uh, customize the redirection here. If you set it to yes, you can choose between cart, checkout, or custom URL. Uh, and then you can also replace the cart URL. Again, you have the option option of uh, checkout and custom URL. In the archives, you can choose to replace the add to cart text. If you set to yes, you're going to simply need to customize the text here. Currently, it's just purchase. And you can also add quick view button uh, that we uh, just saw when clicking on the plus button. Uh, the preview uh, is going to appear on the screen and they will be immediately able to add it to cart. So let's again save the changes here. And now let's head to the product section. In the product section, we can choose to add Ajax add to cart button. So if we enable this, our users can add single grouped or variable products into cart without reloading the site each time. And we can also choose to add Ajax add to cart alert. Uh, and in this case, the green banner, if you remember. We can also replace the add to cart text. If we click on yes, we're just gonna need to replace the text here. And we can also add quick purchase button that we so purchase and purchase no button. Buttons, uh, in front of single products and we can also add default attributes in variable products let's save the changes and finally let's head to the checkout section in the checkout section you can customize what fields you want to have in your checkout page and you can remove the ones that you find redundant or unnecessary so let's get started with um, a cart and you can have your cart in the checkout page and in this case everything will be um, in one page and your users will be able to customize their cart and also make the purchase uh, immediately on that one page so I'm gonna hit yes to this and we can choose to add the cart to checkout via Ajax 
and here we can customize the card uh, fields. We can have the remove uh, field, the thumbnail, the price and quantity, and you can also add the name here if you wish. So it's pretty customizable here. We can remove the checkout coupon form. We're going to leave the coupon form, but you can remove the coupon form. You can remove coupon toggle or you can move it to checkout order. Here we can remove some checkout fields. Uh, we have the address here, address two here, company, phone, some things that you don't find necessary to have in your checkout page. We can remove the checkout shipping address. Uh, we can remove the order comments, the checkout policy text, terms and conditions, the checkout gateway, gateway icons, the checkout columns, and view order details. So these uh, sometimes are necessary to have in your checkout pages. But if you wish, for example, to remove the, let's say, order comments, then you can obviously do that, or the policy text or the terms and conditions. But these are always recommended to have. But just in case, you have the option to remove them. And that's it about the direct checkout plugin by Cavaliers. If you still got any questions concerning it, don't forget to drop them in comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to not miss out any of our upcoming informative videos on Cavaliers plugins. See you next time. Bye-bye.